When we think of global warming, we often imagine dramatic scenes like melting ice caps, raging wildfires, and city-destroying hurricanes. But sometimes the impacts are much more subtle. On many tropical beaches, rising temperatures are doing more than just heating up the sand. They're influencing the very gender of sea turtle hatchlings. Warmer sands mean more hatchlings will be born female, which sounds like a dating paradise for the few males. But the reality could spell disaster for the species. Here's why. Sea turtle gender is determined by the temperature of the sand where their eggs are incubated. Studies show that temperatures around 29.5 degrees Celsius produce a balanced mix of males and females. Below 27 degrees Celsius, nearly all hatchlings are male. Above 31 degrees Celsius, almost all hatchlings are female. Across the globe, beaches are warming up, tipping the scales towards more female hatchlings. Current trends show alarming statistics in various parts of the world. In Florida, for example, recent studies indicate that over 95% of hatchlings are female due to rising sand temperatures. In Australia's Rain Island National Park, the situation is even more extreme. Scientists found that females make up 99% of hatchlings. Projections indicate that with a continued rise in global temperatures, sand on many tropical beaches could soon be consistently above 31 degrees, leading to almost entirely female hatchlings. This skewed gender ratio could threaten the long-term survival of sea turtle populations. To tackle this issue, scientists and conservationists are implementing various innovative strategies. One effective method is shading nests to reduce sand temperatures. By using artificial structures or natural vegetation, they can lower the incubation temperature. Another approach is to release hatchlings directly into the sea. The journey from the nest to the water can often be perilous for the small turtles, so this strategy ensures the survival of more hatchlings in general. Some projects are even artificially incubating eggs at optimal temperatures to ensure an equal balance of males and females. That's all we have on this topic for now. Stay tuned for more updates. And remember, while scientists and conservationists are hard at work, we can play a part by spreading the word. So tell all your friends what you just learned about sea turtles. <laughs>